kind of funny. All right, we are here in the kitchen with Liz Bouchon, of course, talking about all the fun things you can do for Valentine's Day. And loved yes. your article in VIPC. Thank yes. you. Which is what you're going to show us yes. today. Right yes, we had the cutest little Valentine poem in there, too. If you guys want to go there and get it, it's so adorable. Maybe I'll steal that and put it on my wife's Valentine. Oh, she would love it. I mean, anybody would She's love that. She's not watching the show today, so I, I, that would be perfect. I can make that happen. Yes. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> by anonymous or by. I'll take complete um, credit for it. I would too. That's a neat little poem. It really is. Well, I decided to do something with a note because you know we're always texting, we're always doing that. And when do you get a handwritten note? Hardly ever. Well, Valentine's Day is here, so why not send a handwritten note to your special friend uh, or just your girlfriends or whatever and just say, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. So thank you, everybody, for giving me encouragement. All and right and encouraging me to create such And you know, things. an email or a Facebook post is great, but just having that piece of paper really says a lot. It does. It just makes a little, just, I don't know, well, it brings you, you back to your childhood when we gave notes to everybody for right. Valentine's I know, Day. We it did. was so we much did. fun. And you don't have to do it just on Valentine's Day. It's yeah. really unexpected when you do it unexpectedly. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, I guess we need to get on with this. Okay, okay. so we <laughs> are making... We're making an envelope pastry. And this is the pattern. What I did, I just took a regular envelope. Uh, and the reason I have this is because this was the backdrop I used in the article just to talk about a note. And if you're doing a dessert buffet or anything like that, mm -hmm. you can create your own little backdrop using everyday party invitational envelopes. It just kind of goes along with the theme of what we're doing. So anyway, Very I took nice. the envelope, cut it apart, and then I labeled the pieces and made a pattern. And what you're going to do, you're just going to use a regular refrigerated pie crust. And this recipe is so easy, you need three things. A pie crust, granulated sugar or sparkling sugar, which is what I'm going to use, and then a cherry pie filling or any kind of filling that you want to put in, pre-made. Okay. So it's pretty Did you simple. doctor up your pie filling or you can I just did take not. it right from the... Right from the can. Okay. Yeah. I love it. See? Easy, easy. I can do this. Well, you can. <laughs> yeah. And so what you're going to do, you're going to take your pattern, and I use a pizza wheel, and you just cut out your pattern. It's so, so simple. Those pizza Whoops. wheels are handy, aren't they? Yes. And I'm a little off, but it's okay. We can trim it up later. And it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, does no. it? No. And then what you're going to do with the leftover dough, you're going to cut out hearts or whatever you want. Yeah, you can get two pastries out of one dough if you roll the dough out a little bit thinner oh. than you'll get two. Okay. Okay, so then we have our little notches here. Whoops. And that's just from the envelope and that so just you are gonna fold it yes okay. and that just kind of helps you figure out where to fold it and you actually. do want to make sure you have a little flour down there to make it a little easier to work with yes and real important make sure your dough is cold oh your pastry because it'll make it so much easier when you want to lift it up off of the counter you could do this right directly onto your uh, cookie sheet or your baking sheet with the parchment because that's how we're gonna cook it and uh, we'll just flip this around like this so we kind of can see what we're doing. Actually, I'm going to turn it this way. Okay, so you're ready for the ultimate fold, right? <laughs> we're ready for the ultimate fold. It's not hard. And when we come back, I'll show everybody how to fill it and put the folds here in the air. Oh. And, and the granulated and, sugar goes on. And the on, granulated sugar. Just gives it a little sheen It on does it. give it a little bit of sheen. Yeah. And you can use an egg wash to make it brown if you want to, or you can use milk or cream. And I decide to use cream. How nice. I know. See, Chris, you could fun. do this. And I you could. can attach your little love note with it. I'm not saying I would, but I could. <laughs> Yeah, you could fill that with anything. You could do chocolate. Right. You know. That's what I say. Blueberries would be good. Oh, blueberries would be really, really right. good. Okay. Well, we are going to give everybody your website. Of course, you've got okay. other tips and videos and great decorating ideas. Yeah. All at LizBouchon.com. Yeah. And when we come back, we're going to show you how to fill it, fold it, and eat it. And eat it. <laughs> That's Our the favorite. Big thing. We've Our got favorite. to get the message. Yeah. We'll be right back with more.